Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Snack Attack, I think. Today we're gonna do peeps. Now, for us to be doing peeps, there's either two reasons we're doing peeps. One, it's a special occasion, like, you know, Easter or something like that. Two, we hate ourselves. I think maybe it's two. I, I'm pretty sure that these were supposed to come out for Easter, but it were before Valentine's Day, and these really don't seem like Valentine's Day flavors. Uh, these have been out for a little bit now, maybe a month, maybe a little more than a month, but we're gonna try two flavors today. One is kettle corn flavored, and the other one is Dr. Pepper flavored. This is one that I'm really intrigued with, the Dr. Pepper flavored. So again, we've tried some of the other ones and you just eat it and at the end of the day, it's a beep, right? But these are different. So this one is supposed to taste like kettle corn. This one is supposed to taste like Dr. Pepper. Let's just dig into it and give it a shot. As you will know, as you do know from past experience, peeps are not my favorite. They're just, you know, they, they basically taste like marshmallows and I'm not a big fan of marshmallows. So, you know, they have to make, change it up a little bit. Like the ones that are dipped in chocolate, those are pretty good. And I've had a couple of different flavored ones that were decent. So we'll see, we're gonna give this a chance. We're gonna start with the kettle corn because I, I, I just want, I don't want anything to mask that Dr. Pepper. Well, maybe I should try the Dr. Pepper first. Nah, I'm gonna try, I'll try the kettle corn first. Now, I usually wrestle with how to open these and then there's some little tab or something. Oh, you're supposed to pull the tab out. Some little trick like that. It looks like a regular peep. And I like that it comes with like 10 of these, like I'm ever gonna eat more than one. Here we go. Kettle corn peeps, artificially flavored. I mean, how hard is it to do kettle corn? So far, it's just a marshmallow. Maybe a little bit of popcorn flavor, slightly. Ingredient, sugar, corn syrup. Maybe they're relying on the corn syrup to taste like, pop, like popcorn. Gelatin, artificial flavor, less than 0.5%. Artificial flavor, maltodextrin, gum arabic. No, no corn, no honey, which I think is in kettle corn. It tastes like a sweet peep. I mean, honestly, I'm not getting kettle corn, and I'm not gonna eat another one in case I missed it. I'm not getting kettle corn from that. There should be, you know, there should be more popcorn taste. There should be a little bit of a honey taste. Maybe even like, you know, ground up kernels or something, but um, yeah, I'm just not getting it on this one. It's gonna be a thumbs down. It's just slightly different than a regular piece, all right? Now let's try the Dr. Pepper one. I am interested in this. And it says artificially flavored. I don't know why they can't just flavor it with Dr. Pepper. Let's see. Uh, Dr. Pepper's registered trademark, yada yada. Enjoy the unique and refreshing flavor of Dr. Pepper, even though it's artificial. Um, let's see, ingredients. Sugar corn syrup gelatin contains less than 0.5% artificial flavor malt. It's the exact same ingredients as this but it's supposed to be flavored like Dr. Pepper stuff. So you can see. It comes in two little trays if you want to share them with your friends. You know, if you hate your friends. All right, here we go. Dr. It smells like Dr. Pepper. I opened that. Smells like Dr. Pepper. Uh, and I know you're thinking, Val, you're crazy. Dr. Pepper doesn't have a smell. And Dr. Pepper does have a smell, and this smells like Dr. Pepper. That's weird. Problem is that the flavoring is on the outside. And so, that being the case, you still get that marsh the marshmallow on the inside, which is not flavored. Wow, this is actually close. This is actually really close. And it's almost like, it's almost like you get a little bit of effervescence, almost like it, you're drinking a soda. And it's really kind of weird. I am getting that flavor. So let's see. Let's do a Dr. Pepper. And I'm doing a diet Dr. Pepper. I understand they do taste different because one has sugar in it, one does not. But this is my way to go.
okay? I'm gonna do something very rare. I'm gonna try another one of these. It was pretty good. I don't know how they artificially flavor it to get close. That is pretty close. That is pretty close. I'm gonna give that a thumbs up because it's probably come the closest to most of the peeps that I've tried to the flavor of what it's supposed to be. So yeah, uh, kind of give that, I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up. This one a thumbs up, this one a thumbs down. I guess we'll, we'll meet in the middle and give both of them a thumbs in the middle. So I am sure that by Easter, they will have more flavors out, more different flavors. Uh, we might torture ourselves when that happens. I don't know, we'll see. Depends on what flavors come out and everything. But you know, if you want, go ahead and try these. These uh, you can get at your Kroger store. Uh, I think I'm probably almost 100% positive that any major grocery is gonna have these. So uh, go ahead and check them out. But when you do, just remember that it's crazy out there. So please be careful. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.